So this video shows the condensation or insulation hive at work. So we do not overwinter with an upper entrance. We do not use quilt boxes. The only thing that we do is we heavily insulate the cover of the hive. So we have a reflectix, piece of reflectix here. And then if you look, you can see we have foam insulation. And so it's just a two inch foam insulation. And I can show you what that looks like. So there's the reflectix and there's the foam and it's two inch. And what we do is we just heavily insulate the top here. What that causes to happen is as the bees generate heat via respiration, byproduct of respiration is carbon dioxide, heat and water in the form of water vapor. So that hot air rises. It comes into contact up here with the insulated cover, which then the air mushrooms towards the sides, creates a convection current. So hot air rising, cold air falling. And as this warm, moist air falls, it comes in contact with these outside uninsulated edges of our box, which are going to be cold. So the condensation is gonna occur on the inside edges of our box. And it might occur up here, but most likely it's gonna occur down here where the bees are not, where it is cold, or even closer to the entrance where the cold air is coming into the colony. This is where all the uh, air exchange happens, is just down here. So this is where it's gonna be the coldest. And you see that here with this water. So this water is just that condensation that has run down the inside of the hive. It's not hurting anything. It's not dripping on the cluster. It's controlled. It's on the side, runs down, pools on the bottom board. The, the hive is lean forward. So if there is enough water for it to accumulate and run, it will just run out of the colony. But the bees also utilize this water, so they need to drink. And they can drink this water instead of flying out and risking getting too cold when it is cold and windy. So this is exactly what you want to see. Do not be concerned if you see pools of water like this. It's not hurting your colony. And you can see that this is also water from the inside of this colony which is a little bit smaller so we have a little less water but you can see that it is running out and then this is my smallest colony here and you can see there's just a little bit of water so not enough respiration has occurred to make the big pools like on the other colonies so this is just to show that you can have water and moisture in your hive and it is it's okay as long as it's not gathering above and dripping down on the cluster. I know I'm going to have a lot of questions regarding uh, quilt boxes and why don't I use quilt boxes. And so I, I do want to mention that as well. Um, so in upper entrances for that matter. So if I had a quilt box up top here, all the heat that's being generated by those bees is going to be vented out the top. And can the bees survive like that? Sure, but they're going to go through a lot more resources because they're constantly going to be generating heat. And they're going to use up, they're going to have to use up more resources, which means more metabolism. And if you look up the biologies of bees, the more metabolism that is used, the shorter the lifespan of the bee. So you're using more resources, you're decreasing the lifespan of your bees, and it's just more work for them. There's no difference than if you would cut a hole in the roof of your house during the winter and then crank your heater up. Can the heater keep up? Could you stay warm? Sure, but your heat bill is going to be outrageous. Furthermore, the people that put on the quilt boxes, they'll put them up here and they will either have um, some cedar shavings or some something to absorb that moisture 
And then up here as well, they're gonna have a box and there's gonna be holes cut into the box to allow the air to escape. So not only is that letting out the heat, but that cold air is also cooling the substrate, whatever the absorption substrate is, and that water is condensing on that substrate. So that water now is trapped in your hive. It's above the cluster. It's not in a usable form really that the bees are, are gonna be able to lap up, such as that water that's running down the inside. And now that water has to be evaporated by air passing across the substrate, which then draws cold air into the bottom entrance or presumably the top entrance as well, but creating that chimney effect, which lowers the efficiency of the bees. So that's why we don't use quilt boxes. Um, can they work? Sure, but they're also way more expensive. They require more management. They're less efficient and they're not what's best for the bees. So why would we use those quilt boxes?